cyber attacks against cities, counties, and other local governments have increased by 95% in the past year. Attacks from foreign actors are becoming more politically motivated and targeting data, essential services, and critical infrastructure. Is your organization prepared for when an attacker takes control of your network? With SciSim, you can bring together your staff, decision makers, essential service providers, and others to walk through a realistic cyber attack based on your situation. The SISIM staff will design a scenario tailored to your city, county, or government entity. To create a realistic exercise, the SISIM staff will play various roles, consisting of attackers, IT support, citizens, state government, the press, and any other position to make the scenario fit your needs. This allows us to create a dynamic scenario that will exercise your ability to react and adapt to different situations. The IT group can be a mixture of your IT staff and the SISIM staff, or just the SISIM staff. Let's walk through how a typical exercise might play out. The activity starts with a briefing, explaining that this game's goal is to walk them through a cyber crisis. The game is designed to present worst case events in a safe space, designated to helping you plan and prepare. There are no clear correct answers and no mistakes, only learning opportunities. The goal is to help them prepare for the worst. After the briefing, the game starts with the players in a familiar environment, such as an administrative office. At the heart of the game are the defenders and adversaries that control the cyber attack and mitigation, thus setting the game's pace. Once the cyber event occurs, the players will be notified of something wrong. SISIM will be equipped with video walls and software systems that will provide situational awareness, like showing that your website has been compromised, showing news feeds, or your IT status. As the game progresses, the SISIM staff will assume different roles, such as concerned citizens, city council members, county supervisor members, press representatives, law enforcement officers, and additional government staff. The players will not know the questions or what groups they will interact with beforehand. Sometimes, this will be driven by the players' responses during the game. The players collaborate and apply their knowledge to work to mitigate the cyber threat effectively. IT staff implements incident response protocols, and administrators communicate with constituents to ensure the continuity of government. The exercise highlights the importance of collaboration among different departments and the effective communication of accurate information to counteract misinformation. After concluding the game, the players will gather for a debriefing session, discussing lessons learned and the importance of continuous training to strengthen cybersecurity practices. There will be video recordings of the game to watch, game highlights, and discussions consisting of after-action reports. Play the game. Protect yourself. This is SciSim.